Instead of doing the bog standard preview ahead of our Clash of Arse on Sunday, I thought I would do a combined 11 instead to compare and contrast the two squads. So let's get started with the goalkeepers. Is it going to be Ramsdale or David De Gea? Now, it's a pretty easy decision from where I'm sitting. But I'll explain it nonetheless to those hard of hearing at the back. Which is my saying, by the way. Ramsdale has made Arsenal plucky. He's been fairly impressive. They got rid of Martinez and Bert Leno, respectively. And it was actually a risk to put a goalkeeper who I think had been relegated twice. One with Sheffield United and the other one with Bournemouth as well. If Arsenal got relegated last season, he would have made it a hat-trick. And it would have been, for United fans, a laughing matter. Not for Arsenal, though. For obvious reasons. And last season, I remember a game where Arsenal played Leicester at the Kim Power Stadium. Gabriel scored the only goal of the game from a corner. A Ramsdale made heroic saves. Double-double saves, as I called it. And he got man of the match, and rightly so. And it was a throwback, and had echoes of David De Gea. You know, when De Gea was good. And yes, once upon a time, David De Gea was the best goalkeeper in the world. It's a shame how far he's fallen, isn't it? Oh, well. Don't cry over spilled milk, then. We went through one against Arsenal. De Gea made double-double saves. It was basically the only reason we got second anyway. And went 3 1. Lingard got two goals. And I think the dab in Jemba Jemba, who find God's not a problem anymore, was sent off. And Ramsdale this season against Crystal Palace was fairly arrogant and cocky. And it almost led to, Ar to Arsenal conceding the goal. You know? So he does have a little bit lackadaisical at times. He's better than David De Gea, though. He'll have a better season than David De Gea. Because by the sounds of it, going by Ten Hag. He's not really happy with uh, De Gea, is he? If he was happy with him, why has he bought the Rabka? Because the Rabka's come not to just take part, but to take over. And last season with De Gea, we suffered our worst goals to game ratio. The worst in Premier League history, even worse than the 0 2 season. Him making multiple saves wasn't impressive, nothing to gloat about. I suppose it's like taking a photo with Jeremy Corbyn. I don't know why he would gloat about that. Weird. But I see no more on that than that. So I think De Gea is finished at the top level. So Ramsdale for me, yeah. Um, pretty, pretty solid. So I like it, I like it. Right back, uh, Ben White has shift from centre back to right back. But I'm going to give Delo the benefit of the doubt. And he's going to be at right back. Uh, left back, it's got to be Shenchenko. He's a leader of men, all women, sexist. He's a leader. He's a captain of his country. And they love and adore him because of what has happened in Ukraine, or as some would say what hasn't happened there with the conflict with Russia, which hasn't just come out of the blue, by the way. As I said, when Wales got to the World Cup, it's, they've had conflicts since 2014. So it's not something that you know has been, you know, come to the fore overnight, you know. But Sashenko's a good player, and I think Man City getting rid of him was a mistake. He's first time to play left back, and he can play left midfield as well. I'm not sure he's going to be available for the game, though, but uh, yeah, I have had some admiration for the guy. I'm not sure, though, when he goes in a press conference and has tear jerks, though, when he's trying to cry. I'm not sure whether that's good for it, for your image, but, you know, you go with what you know, I guess. Uh, Centre-backs, uh, could be a Martinez, doesn't it? Um, shaky start, but, you know, I've always said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And he's testament to that statement. And him alongside Varane has been impeccable. Very impressive. So that's a good back four on goalkeeper. Um, midfield three, Casemiro's got to be there. Uh, McTominay will be alongside him. As ever, no surprise that I've picked McTominay in a combined 11. Sorry, not sorry. If you don't like it, you can always do your own. And um, 
I'm going to go for Partey. I think that's a fantastic midfield free. How many party? And uh, that'd be controversial. I'll put him in there. Silly. Let's be which one said. Up front, Ronaldo or Gabriel Jesus? It's got to be Gabriel Jesus. I mean, no one in the land would pick Ronaldo over him. I'm mean, very impressed with Gabriel Jesus. He started off like a house on fire. He's got pace, power, penetration. He's got an absolute covered in quality strike against Leicester a couple of weeks back. It was just like a bell of it. It was brilliant. And I can see him along the way breaking Ruud van Nistra and Jamie Barley's record of scoring extensive matches. They've got a coup there. You know, because Arteta's got good connections at Man City. You know, so Jesus, you know, you could say Man City's loss is, G is Arsenal's game because Gabby Jesus is a find. He started really well, hit the ground running, and that's all you can ask for. And he's Premier League proven, which is also another string to his bow. Um... On the wins, got to be Xhaka. Level-headed headed young man. He got a lot of abuse because of what happened um, in the Euros. I did think it was funny when he missed a penalty kick against you know, Italy. I did. But um, he, he's not like Rashford. You know, he doesn't, you know, try and own the government. He actually concentrates on his football, which is very, very important, you know. And, um, yeah, I have admiration for the guy. Very good player, goal scorer supreme, uh, through the ranks. Was a makeshift left back at times, you know, so he's learning his trade. But I think he's a superb, goal, uh, superb player, you know, that's the way I say it. And also... I'm going to put Sancho. Now, I remain unconvinced by Sancho. Just because he scores two poxy goals, one against Liverpool and Leicester City. And let me just tell you about that goal, by the way. That McTominay played his part in that. Because he made a fantastic tackle and a fantastic pass. And the free kick that was given away was because Casemiro, this is an opinion, not an opinion, it's a fact, Gave the fucking ball away, and that's why McTominay had to cover for him by giving away the free kick, which hit the wall anyway. To get your facts right. So that's my team. Recap: Ramsdale in goal, right back. Um, the low full of a left back. Uh, Sanchenko, Martinez, and. Varane, centre-backs, midfield three, Casemiro, McTominay, Partey, uh, up, front, up front, Jesus on the win, Xhaka and Sancho. So there you have it. Done and dusted, over and out, and I'll see you after Sunday's game. And don't forget to put notifications on, share the video, comment below if you like, and I'll see you after Sunday.